Hello everyone, this is Susan. Welcome to my channel today. Today I'm working on day six of the 12 days of Christmas collaboration with Poet Spice. Um, every day for the from December 1st through the 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern time, you will see um, everyone's videos, posts that are participating. And you can still participate by using the hashtag that I have in my title. And um, it's all about creating Christmas or December themed projects. All right, so I know exactly what I'm gonna do today. And I'm just gonna move all of my stuff over here to the side. Um, I'm working on this page today um, because I thought that, well, it's going to be actually my day four in my actual album is, this is going to be day four, um, but I thought it would look super pretty next to this page right here. So I've decided, well, um, of course every year, you know, we get our Christmas trees into our December dailies and I had taken these two pictures and I think I'm going to use the bigger one um, and it is on a slant and I took the picture that way it was meant to be that way so I have just a little tree and it's on a table it was actually my parents tree they're in assisted living now and I love the reflection off of my windows love it it looks so pretty like over here so every year I take um, a picture that um, similar to this actually I like having that picture on top of that picture that looks kind of cool doesn't it Ooh, huh I don't know now I'll have to think about if I'm gonna put that there but I kind of like that so anyways okay let me go on so then what I decided was, well, my mother had given me some of her um, her cards, you know, that she gets like from St. Jude and just, you know, Big Brothers, just like all of these places send her cards. And what I thought was, is I'm going to use the back of this card. So that's the front, that's the back, and that's what I'm going to use. So can I just tear this? Oh yeah, let's just tear this. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is to get this onto the page like that. And you know what, I'm gonna actually move my December daily. So this is my December daily, the front and the back, and I will have a playlist below on all of my December daily videos, if you would like to see. And all my, I have two signatures. I think I'm gonna end up with two signatures. And um, yeah, so um, I'm not putting them into my, my book yet. I'm waiting until I'm done. And then I'm just gonna use an elastic to keep the signatures in there. I don't really like to do, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Do I want to trim a little bit of this? I think I will. Let me just trim a little bit of this edge off here. And that will, I think, look a little bit better. Actually, I like that edge, though. I'll probably keep that. And let's go ahead and get this down. Doesn't need a tremendous amount of adhesive. It's just a little thin piece of paper. And I like the fact that I can still see some of the tea dyed paper underneath. So my thought was this, that I would put the picture there. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, the picture there. And, but I have some other things pulled out. I have some lace. I have a little piece of fabric. I have a few die cuts. 
and also um, a wood veneer um, present. But I really like this up here. Like I need to put something right here, right? So, well, what do you do? So I thought put, well, put a you know piece of scrap paper, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I ended up with this idea. And I like this idea, that fabric, because I don't know, I just think it looks pretty with everything going on here. So this particular fabric is actually, I don't know what it was at one point, but it's actually got two pieces of fabric and they're both different. So check this out. So the underneath one is a picture, is a picture, is a, is flower. Like it's odd. I don't know what this would have been from. If anybody knows, let me know. But I just need a piece of this. Well, you know what? Let me just cut this whole piece off. And this, of course, I'll save for something else. And how much do I need? I don't want to waste it because I think it's super pretty. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get some frayed edges Ooh, going on here. Sometimes... It's hard for me to tear, and I think it's due to just my fingers are not very strong. They're just not, um, and that's okay. So I think I might want that up there and do something like, like that. But I can get rid of some of this bottom, so I don't want to waste it. And I also don't want um, the page to get too, too, too um, thick, right? Too dimensional. So if that goes up there and that's going to go there, then I'll take one of these and I can put the Noel there. That looks almost a little too big. Uh, home for the holidays. I think that that looks pretty. And I have the word Mary. Oh, I like that. I like the word Mary, that it's a different color off of the that fabric. And then I have a little bit of lace and stuff over here. But let's go ahead and get this stuff down. So the first thing I need to get down is this. And I have to kind of remember where it is that I have it. So what I'm going to do is just kind of hold it there, lift it up, and... I'm going to spread this fabric tack around just with the nozzle. I'm not, you know, putting too much on there of the fabric tack. Okay, that's good. Then the next thing is to get this photo down. And I want that right about there. Good. Then the next thing, oh, and you know what I, I need to do? Let me go ahead and, and get this all inked up. I'm just toning down that white on the card because I don't want it real white. I can even put a little bit of this on this fabric. Okay. Now I'm going to put some around here and we'll glue this on. I think that that's going to look, it looks very, I love it. It looks vintagey to me. And let's get that down. And you'll see, I definitely use different adhesives to me they all serve a different purpose and and or work better or worse on different things um so yeah yeah so you'll see me use multiple multiple um adhesives you know what i was gonna add this on there but i don't know maybe down there 
I like the, the frayed edge up there, so I'm not going to put it up top where I thought I was going to put it. Interesting how our um, pages take a turn, right? So if I have that there, I want this here, and I'll show you why. It's because when this page is in my book and it's closed, I can see the underneath page. Um, so I wanna make sure I have some lace there. So I know I want that there. Does Is that too much lace with this piece down here? I don't think so. Let's get this on here first. So one reason why I prefer to use Fabri-Tac, well, one reason is when I'm using fabric, I like to use Fabri-Tac. I don't have to, and I don't always do that, but that is certainly a good reason to use it. But another reason is because it's very, I want to say thick, thick and gooey, right? So thick and gooey to me means that it will hold um, more dimensional or heavy things down. So I'll use the Fabri-Tac, uh, or sometimes I swap it out for tacky glue because that also is kind of heavier and will hold um, a lot down. So then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Now I'm gonna swap over to the Aqua, Tombow Aqua because I don't need it. This is like a little, uh, a more of a, a dainty, delicate type of piece of trim. So it does not need a tremendous amount of adhesive. Okay. Yeah, so I like that. I like that, that's looking good. I haven't cut this top off yet because I'm gonna see what it looks like in the album. I think I'm gonna leave that there. Then the last two pieces I have are this little um, piece from a, from a punch out um, thing that I got and this little present. I can show you the punch out that I'm talking about. The little present, that's a wood veneer, is right there. But that 3D punch out is from here. I think I got this off of uh, a cherry on top. And uh, yeah, so that little piece is from down here. They're not, you know, adhesive on the back. They're just paper, like old school. Remember way back in the day? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna just put her there because I think that she just kind of fits on this page. So I think that's it. I think that's it. So this is, like I said, going to be day four. I've already done day five, so I'm like going out of order. But maybe I'll just put that up there. And let's go ahead and put it back into my book. All right. So let's see. So with it closed, I got lots of lace going on. I have lots of stuff coming out of the top. So I can see that piece of lace that we just put on that page. So now when I go to that page, so see this page underneath sticks out a little bit, but you can't see it. You can't see it, it looks fine, I love it. All right, so that is it for today. I now have my Christmas tree in my December daily. I think it's awesome. I think it looks pretty with this page over here and I'm super happy. All right, so that's it for today's video and I will see you all tomorrow. Gosh, we're halfway there. 
We're halfway through the 12 days of Christmas. Unbelievable. All right. Thank you so much. Check out everybody's videos below and give them some crafty love. And I will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.